All right, so I'm having some serious issues connecting or, or getting this Lux flight controller to work. I don't know why, what I'm doing wrong, so hopefully if somebody's watching this video, uh, you can see what's going on. Give me a hand. Really appreciate it. All right, so I'm just going to show you where I'm at right now. Um, let's go ahead and turn it on. Let me go ahead and plug it in. All right, so I've already flashed clean flight. Um, it's kind of hard to tell. Let me turn this light off real quick and see. But I don't know if you can see it there. But on my flight controller over here, the lights, I have a solid blue light and a flashing green light. Um, the flight controller, I'm sorry, the uh, receiver is bound. Um, if I go ahead and turn on my transmitter. Welcome to OpenTX. And red light's flashing, and it goes to green. So hopefully you guys can see that there. That's my receiver. It's bound to my Tyrannus. So that seems to be okay there. I'm going to turn this off. All right, so again, um, blue, solid blue light, flashing yellow light, or green light. I'm going to go ahead right now, turn the camera up here, um, close this. Let's go ahead and get clean flight open. Here it is. Uh, go ahead and connect. Uh, failed to open serial port. I've had this happen a few times. What I've had to do... Oh, I'm not plugged in. Hang on. <laughs> Let me try that again. Let's go ahead and get plugged in there. Put that over. All right. Now I'm plugged in. Sorry. I wasn't plugged into the, uh, the USB at the end of the flight controller there. All right. Plugged in. I'm going to go ahead and connect on clean flight. Uh, as you can see, it connected. Uh, it's reading the gyro. Now, ports, configuration, setup, all that kind of stuff. Let me move this. Sorry for the moving the camera around here, but hopefully you guys can see that. What happens if I turn that light off? It doesn't do much different. But setup. Um, let's go into ports. Now in ports. Uh, USB VCP UART 1 uh, what I'm having a hard time doing is figuring out which RX port to turn on uh, the only thing I can do the only thing that it will let me do is turn on 3 this third one here uh, then I'll go ahead and save and reboot that Clean Flight always does this with this board. I don't understand it doesn't do it with my uh, SP board. But it uh, says up here, uh, right there, serial port successfully closed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and connect back again. Check my ports. So, again, uh, USB VCP, uh, UART 1, these two are on and serial rx3 it's the only one that will stay on when i save and reboot it one two four uh save and reboot come back there's nothing there so serial three or serial rx the third one is all it'll let me do so but as far as i understand that's where i need to be so now let's go to configurations quad x uh, if you can't tell i got an atom here uh, quad X now here's where I'm having some troubles to RX serial uh, S bus I am using a um, FR sky XSR uh, so S bus there I do have the 5 volt bridged on the Lux controller and I do have the uh, SRX bridged on the X controller um, so, okay, again, so uh, RX serial, S bus. I'm going to go ahead and save and reboot. 
device rebooting, serial port successfully closed. It always does that, I don't know why. It's kind of irritating. Uh, connect. Now if I go back to my ports, all right, everything stayed the same there. If I go back to my configuration, Quad X, RX serial stayed, S bus stayed. Um, Now I go ahead and turn on the receiver. Um, again, I'm using a Tyrannus Plus um, TAER1234 is what I have it set on. Is that the default? That's not the default. Uh, that's on the JR Spectrum. Um, let's go ahead and save that again just because I moved it. I don't think it made a difference. EEPROM saved. Now nothing else works from here when I go ahead let's get this back up. sorry if it's a little far away let me go ahead and get this turned back on welcome to OpenTX um, okay flight control or receiver is connected again I still have a solid blue light on the board flashing green light. It's hard to see that flashing green light, but that's what the green light's flashing next to the blue one. Now, I've got a battery plugged into the or power board. Everything's powered up. Uh, I'm bound to the transmitter. Now is when I would expect to see some movement on the uh, receiver inputs. So I'm going to go ahead and move the throttle. I got nothing. I'm moving the throttle on the Tranus right now. Yaw. Actually, I'm trying to arm it right now. Uh, low throttle, full right yaw. Not doing anything. Um, pitch, roll. Nothing's moving. I'm going to go ahead and switch it to the Futaba just to see what happens. Uh, save that. EEPROM saved, uh, throttle, nada, yaw, nada, moving the sticks now, uh, pitch, roll, nada, uh, let's do it to the default, which is the same as the Futaba actually, receiver, EEPROM saved, and again, throttle, nada, uh, Roll pitch, not a yaw, not a moving everything around. And again, I'm bound uh, to my receiver. What am I doing wrong here, guys? Can somebody please help me out? Uh, figure out what's going on with this thing because I'm really wanting to throw this freaking flight board away or flight controller away and go buy an SP, F, or SP Racing F3, which I have on my element and was set up no problem. I uh, haven't even got to the issue with trying to get uh, ESCs flashed and all that stuff through this yet, but if anybody could give me a hand, I'd appreciate it. Uh, again, let's see if I can get closer. It's hard to see that green light, but the green light's flashing. Um, again, 5 volt is um, bridged underneath. SXR is bridged underneath. Uh, I'll give you a shot here of from left to right looks like it's a little blurry uh, but from left to right I've got in the ground uh, number two for the second year motor there RX ground and I'm sorry RX 5 volt and ground uh, set up for the uh, out to the receiver need some help here guys